heading into a war zone now. We better be sure about this. We're close. There should be an oasis in the canyon just ahead. You're wasting your time. There's nothing out here. Just keep driving, please. It's your money. Something isn't right. Oh, that's just local militia. You told someone, didn't you? They, they paid better than you. Wow, now this seems familiar. Oh, good. Double vision, blurriness. Oh, I really hope she hasn't got to use the gun at any point in this, uh, in the next, like, 20 minutes or whatever. Although, I'm gonna be honest, I don't like the fact that that village down there is, uh, being bombed, it seems. Or some kind of explosion, at least. Because I just know that's where we're heading. There was something in Dad's research about this. It was said the Prophet's tomb was hidden in the cliffs above one of the forgotten cities. Legend speaks of an oasis where the Prophet was laid to rest. Okay, maybe we're not going down to the war-torn country then. We're staying up here in the dry and arid lands of the mountains. Always with the mountains. Seriously. You know, why can't anybody build hidden tombs in, uh, great. In, like, flat land or something. Why is it always mountain sides and cliff tops and other such places where people usually die just trying to get to them? I don't get it. You know, I mean, you'd think the people who built them would want to get there themselves. You know, without death or whatever. If it is, it's a terrible hiding place. I mean, it looks kind of like a sewer opening. I mean, who puts a sewer grate in a place and doesn't investigate the sewer? I swear that made sense when I was thinking of it. Right, onwards with the glow stick. Incredible. Some kind of marker. Can't quite make out the translation but this word <gasps> prophet this is it <gasps> dad was right <sighs> you know the last game i played that had a marker involved was Dead Space. I don't think I want to trust this marker. People tend to go insane at things like this. Some sort of marker. This uh, script, but I can't. Advanced Lara's Greek translation skill to level one. Uh, how do I do that? I'm gonna press Q first. So okay, this returns from the first game where it basically 
highlights anything of importance and gives you a, a general direction for where to go next. So, this is important. Okay, he's shown here performing healing miracles. Dad's notes mention this. Oh, you actually inspect things to increase... Oh, it says on the screen. Uh, I should have focused on the bottom right instead of the top left. Is there anything else here that I can read? Or look at? These are the miracles of the Prophet of Constantinople. Unjustly murdered by order of... Trinity. Oh, getting there. Just need a little bit more Greek practice and we're golden. Oh wait, what's this? This might just do it. He led his followers through the desert to the oasis. There we go. Can now translate level one Greek. I don't think she survived the crash. Oh Jesus, really? Constantine wants to breach the tomb before sundown. They're after the tomb. I've got to find it before them. There's always some guy called Constantine, isn't there? It's like the the single most generic evil guy name. Greek is still a little rusty, but it's pointing to something hidden nearby. Well, that's helpful. I'll mark down the locations. Okay. Uh, I wanted the map. Could you get me the map, please? No, I don't want to... Use space to mark any map item with a player beacon. Player beacons appear in the world as a blue shaft of light when using survival instincts. Alright. So what, it's behind me to the right? I mean, that's not that far away. Is it literally this? Fair enough. Guess it was. I was thinking it might have been this little cove here, but apparently not. Okay, so, moving onwards. Uh, there's nothing else in there worthy of investigation, so let's just mosey towards the broken wall. The secret entrance. You know, personally, considering you have people coming after you, I'd err on the side of caution with this, but we gotta get out. I was kind of hoping you'd break down the whole lot in one swift movement, but okay, carry on. Okay, let's ready your gun. Ready your... or don't. Whatever. I'm not the police. Dad could have seen this. Uh, oh, thank Christ for that. I thought I missed a jump. Find a way into the Prophet's tomb. Well, I'm guessing it involves a bit of climbing over this side. And getting over there. Because that way is not possible. So... Okay. Hey, whatever works. That's fine with me. Oh, I can hear a helicopter. Oh no. They're already here. Got to get inside. Well, that's not dilly dally. Oh, great. I don't know why I pressed A or I should have jumped. Let's uh, try that again. Steady. Steady. Jump. 
You know, if they didn't hear her knocking down the secret entrance, they definitely heard that. I'm just saying. And why is it everything Laura touches just crumbles? It's like she's cursed or something. You know? The Order of Trinity pursued the Prophet and his people relentlessly until finally confronting them in their hidden oasis. And then what happened? Hi, Mr. Scorpion. A way through. I wouldn't quite call it that. Oh, good. Dark, dank dungeons with spider webs. Exactly what I wanted to be exploring today. Take a shield, it might be important. Or useful. Or, you know, you could just set fire to everything and get rid of these arachnids. Or hell, maybe you should just go home. Why would you lie down in a place like this? You know, I can't help but get the impression that this is going to make the ceiling collapse. Not that I'm the bringer of bad news or anything, but... Okay, I was wrong. There was a battle here. Armed soldiers against religious pilgrims. The Order of Trinity. Godspeed, pilgrim. Uh, can we take one of these swords? I feel like it would be useful. You know, to dealing with the scorpions and other such animals in this place. My son, the Order of Trinity has received word that the Prophet's followers are building a great tomb at an oasis outside Berea. But more upsetting, while we thought they were building the tomb for their Prophet, Trinity now believes he still lives. We have learned he is preaching his heresy among the local citizens drawing more to him daily with his tales of how he conquered death. He is a liar and a heretic, claiming miracles that come only from the divine. You swore he was dead. Have you failed us? Dun-dun-dun! Maybe he was only slightly dead, and he got better. You know, I mean, if Monty Python's taught me anything, it's that strange things can happen sometimes. Uh, yeah, I can't take these swords, can I? That'll be too easy. Oh, oh, almost missed this giant wall. The prophet slain by the Order of Trinity. Well, he doesn't look that upset by it. Let's be honest. You know, he looks kind of like... Ah, oh, really? The day of all days? You know, he, he looks mildly annoyed, but not truly upset by it. I mean, like... Jesus Christ. Damn it. That was too close. Yeah, you're not kidding. That was... Whew, enlightening. Okay, so what am I shooting? The wood, I guess? Shoot structural weak points to destroy- yeah. Or maybe I'm not shooting the the wood. I mean, it would make sense, but- oh! The, uh, the aiming reticule turns red. That should have been my first clue. Should have been my first clue. But it wasn't. Can I reload? Yes, I can. They're blasting their way in. It's not exactly subtle, but it works. 
Oh, God. That doesn't look good. In fact, none of this looks good. Uh, I'm actually just going to shoot that. Because... If that breaks, I want a flotation device. I think it's going to break, isn't it? Oh, I'm going to break it. Alright. Oh, that should do it. No? Alright. There. Now get on the damn raft. Mantle it, come on. Really? Alright, fine, I'll put some work in and actually jump. Okay, where are we going now? Anything here I can get Greek points off of? No? Alright. Anything in here I can get Greek points off of? Guess not. <laughs> Quick reflexes. Thank God this isn't my first game ever. Otherwise I could be in deep trouble. Okay, so what have we learned today, Lara? Check for traps. That would be good. That would be massively good. It saves you almost dying, or worse, actually dying. Why is there smoke here? This is slightly concerning. I mean, the big feature of... Oh. Wait, was that not... We made it, Actually smoke. I guess it was. Okay, well... This is truly good to look at, but that's not why we're here, I'm guessing. I mean, I'm no expert, but typically, whenever Lara gets involved in places, it's because there's a treasure here, or some such, some weird art artifact. Uh, I just gotta get down there, and that's easy. Let's go. Navigate to the top of the... Got to find a way to get up higher. Maybe I can raise the water. Oh, okay. Okay. All is forgiven. That makes sense. Okay, so that's that. Water's coming from there as well now. Or was. Oh, okay, I get it. I gotta put something heavy on that uh, platform. And uh, because I can't see any barrels and such, I'm just gonna jump on it. I mean, that'll achieve the same thing, right? I don't need to stay on it, just stay there long enough for the water to drain from the reservoir over there. Yeah, this'll work. Apparently, jumping breaks the platform. Well... I guess I should have seen that coming. Uh, over here next? Because it's the only other place that makes sense. There's more water coming from over there. That's pretty much it. I can't even get up there yet. So yeah, it's gotta be this way. It's the only way that makes logical sense. Hopefully, anyway. I mean, for all I know, I could be just going the wrong way entirely. Why is there a... Well, I guess you could run and jump up there. That would kind of make sense. Oh, dear God. Well, okay, that was... I thought that was going to be another way into the room. It made sense, okay? It, it made sense. Oh, really? Damn. They're almost inside. 
Yeah, well, we are inside. Let's let's set up a defensive perimeter and shoot them as they come in because they got um, repelled down. So we can just. I saw that one coming. Oh God. Yeah, I should have realized that was a trap too. Uh, so we can just get into a good spot, wait for them to come down here, and shoot them as they uh, as they approach. That is morbid as hell. I really don't want to land in that water. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna shoot that down in preparation. And then just jump. Okay, that was just not expected at all. Face full of just Ew. Oh, really now? Really? Oh, Jesus Christ. Alright, what does my survive do? Yeah, I get that. But how are we going to do that if it just drains afterwards? And I got a face full of disgusting... Sewer water. You know what? To be honest, I'd rather take sewer water over this. Is that a shield? Oh, what's this? I'll just scroll. My lord, what you say is impossible. I myself drove a spear into the prophet's heart. I saw him die. Doubtless, his people have propped another man up in the slain prophet's robe to continue his lies. They are broken discredited, and exiled. We will head south, and put the rest of his people to the sword. But the prophet is dead. This, I swear. Right. You know, normally I'd agree with this part, where he says that they've just propped up another man. But I've played the previous Tomb Raider games. Weird stuff happens. It wouldn't surprise me if resurrection was entirely possible. I didn't mean to press that. Let's escape out of that. So, okay, I have to... Do I just keep... Jumping or something? Uh, not what I wanted to do. Damn it. Can I at least get your axe out, Lara? You gotta climb up there or don't. Whatever. You know, it's your time you're wasting too, you know. 